so hello dear friends i welcome you all to this class of psychology and i hope this class is going to be a productive session for you the conundrum of choosing the right optional is a baffling exercise many of you are confused aapko psychology lena chahiye ya nahi lena chahiye or what are the requirements or prerequisites that one should have before choosing the psychology so uske baad hum ek question bhi discuss karenge 15 marks mein what is the scientific status of psychology psychology this is the very first topic of paper 1 so <clears throat> before i proceed further let me bust few myths about psychology many of you or some students allege psychology to be less core they feel that psychology is not a scoring subject so if you think rationally there is a question and there is an answer if you write the exact answer of the question being asked then examiner have no reason examiner ke paas koi reason nahi hai ki wo aapko marks na de samajh rahe ho so upsc follows the principle of moderation upsc follows the principle of moderation so ma marks across optional subjects are less or more similar but aisa nahi hai ki psychology jo hai wo wo scoring subject nahi dusra hai kuch students ko lagta hai ki psychology bahut difficult hai psychology ek technical subject hai देखो एवरी सब्जेक्ट हैज क्रिटिकल फाउंडेशन एवरी सब्जेक्ट एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट नॉलेज फ्रॉम अदर डिसिप्लिन सो एवरी इन इन दिस वे एवरी सब्जेक्ट हैज अ टेक्निकल फाउंडेशन अ टेक्निकल बेस सो साइकोलॉजी इज नो डिफरेंट और अगर हम डिफिकल्टी की बात करें सो यूपीएससी आई वुड से every subject is represent represented proportionally you know ab aisa nahi hoga ki exceptionally upsc alag se jaye aur psychology ko tough banaye samajh rahe so all subjects has equal weightage no subject is made unduly harsh aisa nahi hai it is your interest your approach your attitude that makes it easy or difficult for you so psychology you should have few things a skill set i i would say some prerequisites that one should have before opting psychology as an optional subject and i am going to discuss those requirements also few students believe that psychology has huge syllabus psychology psychology has huge syllabus psychological syllabus lengthy hai kuch students ko aisa bhi lagta hai so again i would say no subject is unduly large and exceptionally different so upsc follows the principle of proportionality every subject has given its due share or the exercise has been conducted in a fair manner jab upsc ne subjects ko design kiya every subject has been designed in a fair manner and represented proportionally samajh rahe so aisa kuch nahi hai psychology tough hai technical hai scoring nahi hai aisa nahi hai so there is an answer there is a question and you need to write an answer if you write the right answer you will get good marks aur dusri baat ye hai ki the visibility of those optional subjects which were taken by toppers become prominent jo subject toppers ne liye wo aapko highlight ho gaye and then you start believing 
then students start believing that these are scoring subject but it is not like that one thing i guarantee after reading psychology you will be a different personality you will be more organized you are likely to display your emotions in a more balanced way your adjustment level are going to improve so there will be additional benefits that you will get after reading this subject plus if you opt psychology then i would say ethics and essay draws heavily from psychology one of the essay that you write has psychological underpinnings so by opting psychology as your optional subject you are going to score additional 125 marks here plus 70 to 80 marks in ethics but still i would say the choice of choosing the optional should not be governed by these aspects you should not think that if i take psychology as an optional it will give me benefit in ethics or in essay it is your interest your skill set your approach that will make any subject suitable for you aap logo ko ye extra benefits nahi dekhne chahiye aur na hi aap logo ko in extra benefits se influence hona chahiye okay so you should have firm belief in yourself aapko apne andar belief hona chahiye that if i am going for this subject i will make it productive for me beneficial for me okay so ये जो मिथ है साइकोलॉजी स्कोरिंग नहीं है टेक्निकल है डिफिकल्ट है ऐसा नहीं है दीज आर जस्ट मिथ्स आई बिलीव ऐसा नहीं है उसके बाद देर आर सम एडिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट्स दैट वन शुड हैव बिफोर चूजिंग साइकोलॉजी एज देयर ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट द फर्स्ट इज the student or the aspirant should be a critical thinker your analytical ability your critical thinking should be high you should be of investigative nature aapko aisa nahi hona hai aapki personality ऐसी नहीं होनी चाहिए दैट यू एक्सेप्ट सोल्यूशन रेडिली यू मस्ट बी द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु हैज इन्वेस्टिगेटिव काइंड ऑफ नेचर हु इज एबल टू सी लॉजिक बिहाइंड कॉन्सेप्ट फिनोमिना और थिंग्स सो आपकी पर्सनैलिटी ऐसी नहीं होनी चाहिए आपका एटीट्यूड ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए दैट यू एक्सेप्ट थिंग ब्लाइंडली यू इन यूज नो लॉजिक देन दिस सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट फॉर यू it starts from critical thinking it starts from critical thinking dusra hai originality how original you are regarding your approach how much you have how much trust you hold in your ways so you should be original your approach should be original when you writing answers in psychology so the third thing is your the ability to express yourself in fact not only for psychology even any subject of gs demands the ability to express yourself freely how successfully You express yourself. आप जो कहना चाहते हो कितना आराम से कितना कम शब्दों में आप डिफाइन कर पाते हो चीज सो दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिटर्मेंट उसके बाद है डिस्प्ले ऑफ मेमरी 
this again is not only restricted to psychology but to every gs subject aapko concepts ko memorize karna hai first of all you need to develop conceptual understanding then you need to memorize the concept again and again again and again and then in the examination you need to display that skill of yours okay aapko apni memory ka jo strength hai usko display karna hai exam mein it is like one hand is writing and you are holding all the information in the other hand and you are writing so memory should be in the state of activation memory should be readily av available to you only then you will be able to write answers in paper seconds otherwise it will be very difficult if your synthetic ability is weak so paper 1 is all about concepts critical thinking conceptual understanding once you prepare for paper 1 then you need to memorize you need to revise those concepts again and again again and again and you have to display your understanding of paper 1 in paper 2 okay so every gs paper is a display of your memory you should be able to successfully demonstrate the strength of your memorization and then so these are the basic requirements that one should have before choosing psychology plus you need to be hard working you need to be hard working you need to read every day for at least 7 to 8 hours and from those 7 to 8 hours at least 5 hours should be of intense focus okay you need to be less judgmental we need positive feedbacks from everyone what other things of us pareshani hoti hai hame so throughout this examination or throughout this process you need to be less judgmental you need to be smile what is bound to happen will happen so you cannot control anything all you can do is to smile hai na smile karne se aapka tension kam hoga you will have a calm mind and only then you will be able to use your intellect in an optimal optimal way okay so you need to be less judgmental and the other thing is that we at some level i feel we all are engaged in deceptive exercises we deceive ourselves hum apne intelligence level ko apni understanding ko a different level pe rakhte hain that we understand this we understand everything so deception is a grand exercise but we should not deceive ourselves before choosing any subject or choosing any examination life is very precious don't waste your time by involving in deceptive exercises okay so let's be brutal honest to ourselves you should be brutally honest to yourself okay so here are few things that i would say these are the few things that you should take care of before choosing this examination or before choosing the optional plus i would say before starting the class that everybody of you or some of you need empathetic listeners and confidence builder upsc is a prolonged exercise it will give you sad moments episodes of frustration so in these kind of situations you need good friends who are empathetic listeners and confidence builders so these are some prerequisites that if you have 
will maximize the chances of your success. So let's start with the very first topic of our syllabus, uh, paper one. What is the sign? Please write down. What is the scientific status of psychology? What is the scientific status of psychology? Is it a positive science? Or is it a normative science? This question is likely to be asked in 15 to 20 marks. So please mention 15 to 20 marks. So what is psychology? This is the symbol we use for psychology. Okay. So, psychology is defined as the scientific study of behavior. and cognitive process. Cognitive processes. Up, you may ask what is behavior? Behavior is anything that behavior is anything, any action, any reaction, any response from the organism that could be observed and measured. You dance, it is a behavior. You sleep, it is a behavior. You eat, it is a behavior. So, every kind of behavior in this universe or under the sun holds tremendous importance for psychology. Okay. Cognition. Cognition, cognition means to know. So the processes that helps you to understand your environment, that helps you to adjust in your environment, these processes involves the use of mind. Any aspect of mind. The process which involves the use of mind, you may call these kind of processes as cognitive processes. These processes helps you to better adjust in your environment, to know your environment, like thinking, perception, decision making, intelligence, reasoning, ya kis labels ka part diye. So, all these kinds of processes are called cognitive processes and cognitive, cognitive processes are influenced by some known cognitive processes like values, attitude, your emotion. So, when you think it has cultural label, when you decide something, it has cultural constraints, label of your emotions, your attitude, jab bhi aap apni understanding ko develop karte hain, 
दीज आर द चेक्स आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग को यहां से होके गुजरना पड़ता है समझ रहे हैं सो नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नॉलेज जेनरेटेड बाय कॉमन सेंस एंड द नॉलेज प्रपोज बाय साइंटिफिक मेथड्स सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड how common sense is different from scientific knowledge generally uh, common sense goes against the scientific knowledge okay so to understand this dweck experimented in 1975 she was concerned with those children who give up easily when faced difficult problems dweck ne ek study conduct ki un un bachcho par jo bahut jaldi give up kar dete the theek hai jaise hi koi difficult problem difficult situation mein wo gaye wo quit kar dete the so ab common sense According to common sense, common sense यहां पर क्या बोलेगी अगर मान लीजिए अगर वो student है अगर वो student है जो like the participants were students, so according to common sense, these students must be given easy problem first. भाई आप अगर किसी आप common sense के according अगर किसी को ऊपर उठाना है किसी को थोड़ा सा confidence देना है किसी student को suppose you are weak in mathematics. So, हम लोग क्या करेंगे पहले आपको इजी प्रॉब्लम देंगे प्रॉब्लम्स देंगे यू विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दो प्रॉब्लम आप उसको सॉल्व करेंगे कुछ आंसर सही होंगे यू विल गेट सम कॉन्फिडेंस देन वी विल रेज द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी हम थोड़ा सा उससे ऊपर कुछ डिफिकल्ट लेवल के क्वेश्चंस आपको देंगे फिर आप उसको सॉल्व करोगे देन अगेन यू विल गेट सम कॉन्फिडेंस so according to common sense after solving the easy problems the students get motivated they feel confident and then again more complex problems are given after solving these problem they get more confidence and this is the way to proceed according to common sense but according to the st study she conducted what she did first of all the participants the participants were divided into two groups group 1 and group 2 for almost 25 days for almost 25 days the students of group first they were given easy problem this was a practice session note the actual experiment pehle 25 din ke liye group first ke students ko easy problems di aur jo unhone successfully solve ki group 2 ke jo students the they were given mix of problems easy plus difficult और जब भी ग्रुप टू के स्टूडेंट्स किसी भी प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व नहीं कर पा रहे थे दे वर टोल्ड दैट दे आर फेलिंग और दे फेल्ड बिकॉज दे आर नॉट ट्राइंग हार्ड जब भी किसी स्टूडेंट से कोई प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं हुआ कोई क्वेश्चन सॉल्व नहीं हुआ तो उसे यही बताया गया कि यू आर नॉट पुटिंग इन ऑफ एफर्ट्स आप जो है संपूर्ण प्रयास पर्याप्त प्रयास जो है आप नहीं कर रहे so after 25 days the actual experiment was conducted ab dono students ko ek set of question diya gaya group 1 ke jo students the jo ki confidence mein jinka jo confidence level tha wo up tha because according to common sense they were solving every kind of they were solving 
easy problem first getting some confidence then difficult one again some confidence so they were really confident they were less likely to give up but in actual experiment when they contended difficult problem they were the first one to give up easily and those students who had seen fail failure while solving the difficult ones were stayed and tried again and again and they tried hard so the, here in this experiment the notion of common sense goes against the scientific method dweck conducted study in a scientific way so co common sense ke according to bhaiya easy problem confidence again problem solve kiya confidence 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 and now you can do anything but according to dweck according to her study process ye nahi hai okay so like she did with the participants when they failed at every step she said to them ki agar aap fail ho rahe hain to it is your fault you are not doing hard enough dusra dusra jo hai like every one of us have tendency to confirm our belief hum keval usi information ko acche se note karte hain apne external environment mein jo hamare belief system ke sath ya to aligned ho kisi bhi way mein positively or negatively so we just try to confirm this part only किसी पर्टिकुलर फिनोमिना का इसके सिवा जो इंफॉर्मेशन है उसकी यूटिलिटी हमारे लिए नहीं होती वी टेंड टू कंफर्म आर व्यूज सो वी सफर फ्रॉम कंफर्मेशन बायस वी सफर फ्रॉम कंफर्मेशन बायस सो वाइल्ड मेकिंग डिसीजन इन योर लाइफ यू सफर फ्रॉम कंफर्मेशन बायस ओके जो इंफॉर्मेशन आपको याद रहेगा वो आपकी जजमेंट को आपकी डिसीजन मेकिंग एबिलिटी को इंपैक्ट करेगा द अदर थिंग इज अवेलेबिलिटी ह्यूरिस्टिक्स अवेलेबिलिटी ह्यूरिस्टिक एक मेंटल शॉर्टकट है जो इंफॉर्मेशन आपका माइंड इजीली आपके लिए रिट्रीव कर सकता है दैट पर्टिकुलर इंफॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू इंपैक्ट योर जजमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अब साल में अगर हम बात करें या एक डेकेड के अंदर एरोप्लेन नंबर ऑफ एरोप्लेन क्रैश वर्सेस नंबर ऑफ कार एक्सीडेंट्स एक्रॉस द ग्लॉब कोई कंपैरिजन ही नहीं बनेगा एरोप्लेन क्रैशेस फॉर्चुनेटली बहुत कम है और नंबर ऑफ कार एक्सीडेंट्स बहुत हाई है शायद आज आप एक आधा देख के भी आए हो we usually see because people don't follow traffic rules but still the number of people dies died in airplane crash are very few as compared to those who are died in car accident still when we sit in an aeroplane we feel uneasy but evidence kya bol raha hai evidence bol raha hai ki car mein baithna zyada data ke according to car mein baithna zyada khatarnak hai बट आपके माइंड के पास कौन सा इंफॉर्मेशन है वो इजीली आपके लिए क्या रिट्रीव कर रहे हैं एरोप्लेन एक्सीडेंट अवेलेबिलिटी ह्यूरिस्टिक्स सो इट अफेक्ट्स योर जजमेंट योर डिसीजन मेकिंग एबिलिटी योर वेन समटाइम्स यू से आई हैव गट फीलिंग आपके सबकॉन्शियस माइंड में कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन है एंड यू से आई हैव गट फीलिंग कि ये नहीं ये होगा That is availability heuristics. समझ रहे हो सो दोनों जो प्रोसेस है वो मिलकर काम कर रहे हैं समझ रहे हैं फर्स्ट जो प्रोसेस है दैट एवरी थिंग यू नोटिस और आप किस चीज को कितना इंपॉर्टेंस अटैच करेंगे दैट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द आई रोट वैल्यूज इमोशंस your interpretation style you know the cultural constraints in your mind 
so you feel that you are making a rational decision but sometimes you are not then what exactly happens in a scientific method or why we call psychology a scientific science or a uh, scientific study of behavior and co uh, cognitive process let's discuss so aapne abhi dekha ki common sense ke common sense kis tarike se aapko dhoka deta hai hai na you feel you are making a rational decision but availability heuristics and confer you suffer from confirmation bias and this was experimented by dweck and her study shows the similar results so ab scientific method kya hota hai what is scientific method why we call psychology a scientific study <laughs> cognitive processes ab psychology ke andar jo investigator hai we the investigator or the researcher investigate behavior and cognitive processes by following or by using some special methods and by adhering to some scientific values or the values that hold tremendous importance in science so we will discuss what are those scientific values and what are those special methods that investigator or researcher use while investigating behavior and cognitive process okay to so, sabse pehle let's understand थीरी क्या है एक थीरी वट डू यू मीन बाय थीरी थीरी इज जनरल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एनी एग्जिस्टिंग फिनोम ओके लाइक यू से एक्सरसाइज डूइंग एक्सरसाइज इंप्रूव योर रीजनिंग एबिलिटीज theories are frameworks with the help of which you define any natural phenomena any general phenomena any existing information so theories ke andar concepts ko interrelate kiya jata hai statements are given to define any existing information or to organize any existing information as knowledge ab ek theory ke bahut sare aspect hote hain like agar koi bhi theory hai for getting ke upar to uske bahut sare aspect honge if i say ki exercise karne se reasoning abilities improve hoti hain ab ये जो थीरी मैंने या ये जो स्टेटमेंट मैंने प्रपोज की इसके बहुत सारे एस्पेक्ट हो सकते हैं जैसे कार्डियो करने से रीजनिंग एबिलिटी इंप्रूव होती है वेट ट्रेनिंग करने से रीजनिंग एबिलिटी इंप्रूव होती है या पुशअप्स करने से या कोई पर्टिकुलर स्पोर्ट करने से रीजनिंग एबिलिटी इंप्रूव होती है अब ये सारी है तो एक्सरसाइज बट देर आर डिफरेंट आस्पेक्ट to this preposition so theory ke aspect ko test karne ke liye we deduce we propose hypothesis we try to answer some question like 
देर इज थीरी ऑन अग्रेशन अमंग चिल्ड्रन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट दिस थीरी सो योर हाइपोथिस इज द टाइम स्पेंट बाय चिल्ड्रन वाइल वॉचिंग द टेलीविजन इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द रेट ऑफ एग्रेशन डिस्प्लेड बाय द This will be your hypothesis. Hypo, आपने अपने लिए क्वेश्चन फिक्स कर लिया उसका आंसर आपने रख लिया नाउ दिस मस्ट बी सुपोर्टेड बाय द डेटा यू विल कलेक्ट इन योर सराउंडिंग और फ्रॉम योर एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप या जो भी आपका रिसर्च डिजाइन है फर्स्ट यू प्रपोज द थीरी देन टू टेस्ट दिस थीरी यू हैव अ हाइपोथिस now you will design your research who will be the participant of my research meri research ke participants kon kon honge what will be the tools what will be the scientific method i will use to collect the data aapko data collect karna hai fir aapko statistical procedures ka use karna you will use graph pie chart this That ANOVA बहुत सारी statistical techniques हैं So if after analyzing data, if the same thing is proven, then the theory is valid. If the findings are something different, then you need to upgrade the theory. So psychology के अंदर ये hypothetical deductive model का use किया जाता है It is a scientific way. first you propose theory then you set your hypothesis then to collect the data that then to check your hypothesis you perform experiment to collect the data you decide the methods like observation methods कोरिलेशन मेथड एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन मेथड ये सब आपके सिलेबस का पार्ट है ये आपका यूनिट टू है इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंसेस एंड रिसर्च मेथड्स इन साइकोलॉजी यू नीड टू डिसाइड साइकोलॉजिकल टूल्स दैट यू आर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू यूज इन योर रिसर्च देन यू डिफाइन स्टेटिस्टिकल प्रोसीजर्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू यूज लाइक यू आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अनोवा यू आर गोइंग टू यूज पाई डायग्राम सिंपल ग्राफ ओके सो ये डेटा जो है ये किस तरफ इंडिकेट करता है क्या डेटा भी वही बोल रहा है जो हाइपोथिस बोल रहा है जो आपने हाइपोथाइज किया था स्टार्टिंग में अगर ये दोनों रिजल्ट्स अलाइन है देन योर थीरी इज वैलिड बिकॉज योर हाइपोथिस वॉज बेस्ड ऑन दिस थीरी इफ हाइपोथिस Result are results are not aligned with the theory. Then the theory needs to be upgraded. So psychology ke under to study behavior and cognitive processes, researchers use hypothetical deductive model. Okay, and while conducting the research, the researcher lays great emphasis on objectivity. Ya aap ye keh sakte hain. कि साइंटिफिक मेथड का सबसे पहला प्रिंसिपल है ऑब्जेक्टिविटी ऑब्जेक्टिविटी का मतलब है इट अंडरलाइन वेदर यू कंडक्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट और आई कंडक्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट द रिजल्ट विल बी ऑलमोस्ट सेम वेदर यू फॉलो दिस प्रोसेस और आई फॉलो द प्रोसेस द फाइंडिंग्स विल बी ऑलमोस्ट सेम सेकेंड साइंटिफिक मेथड के अंदर सिस्टमेटिक वे को ऑप्ट किया जाता है फर्स्ट देयर विल बी थीरी देन देर विल बी हाइपोथिस देन देर विल बी डेटा कलेक्शन यूजिंग डिफरेंट मेथड्स, देन देर विल बी स्टेटिस्टिकल प्रोसीजर्स एंड फिर जो भी रिजल्ट आएगा जो भी आउटकम होगा इट विल बी एक्सेप्टेड ओनली इट विल बी एक्सेप्टेड ओनली आफ्टर सम अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंटर हैज डन द सेम रिसर्च एंड ही और शी हैज सिमिलर फाइंड so the principle of skepticism is also followed the principle of verifiability is also followed okay uske baad hmm.
if if the same hypothesis holds true in similar other conditions if the same hypothesis holds true in similar other condition and the experiment is performed by some different personality but the result are an aligning it means this theory is valid okay so op, the principle of open mindedness is also followed ab iska matlab ye hai ki agar experiment ko conduct karne ke baad data ne kisi aur taraf ishara kiya you are flexible enough to say that this theory needs an upgradation सो so, इस मॉडल को बोलते हैं हाइपोथेटिको डिडक्टिव मॉडल साइकोलॉजी के अंदर एक्सटेंसिवली इसका यूज किया जाता है ठीक है सो कॉमन सेंस रन्स अगेंस्ट द नॉलेज जनरेटेड बाय साइंटिफिक मेथड ये मैं आपको लिखवा देता हूं प्लीज राइट before that let's try to understand what is normative science and what is positive science positive science positive science is descriptive science it tend to describe a phenomena it is more concerned about what it is like psychology is a positive science it describe behavior description is an important goal of psychology whereas normative science is more about what it should be normative science ke andar kisi bhi behavior ko kisi bhi action ko evaluate kiya jata hai and then judgment is made that what it should be is it right or is it wrong according to the values ओके एथिक्स और मॉरल प्रिंसिपल्स को इवेल्युएट किया जाता है किसी पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल के सो लाइक एथिक्स एथिक्स में आप क्या पढ़ते हैं व्हाट इज राइट एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग अबाउट सम ह्यूमन एक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू द कल्चरल कॉन्टेक्स्ट द पर्सन इज बीइंग स्टडीड इन सो साइकोलॉजी इज अ पॉजिटिव साइंस इट टेंड टू डिस्क्राइब ह्यूमन बिहेवियर समझ रहे हैं वेयर एज एथिक्स इज अ नॉर्मेटिव साइंस So, अगर आप इस पे भी लिखना चाहते हैं तो प्लीज लिखें साइकोलॉजी इज द साइंस सॉरी उसको कट करो एक बार आप लिखो साइकोलॉजी इज अ साइंस बिकॉज इट लेज इट लेज एम्फोसिस ऑन द सर्च ऑफ ट्रूथ इट लेज एम्फोसिस ऑन द सर्च ऑफ ट्रूथ by advocating objectivity by advocating objectivity in the assessment of behavior ye maine abhi aapse baat ki what this principle underlines the principle of objectivity in a scientific method means whether you conduct the research or i do the findings will be almost similar by advocating objectivity in the assessment of behavior it is the endeavor it is the endeavor of every psychologist it is the endeavor of every psychologist to be as objective as possible every researcher tries to be objective 
while investigating behavior or cognitive processes. So, as objective as possible, by observing and recording, by observing and recording, full facts in an investigation, by observing and recording full facts in an investigation, and not only those, and not only those which correspond to his or her expectations, which correspond to his or her expectations, he gathers information, he gathers information on the basis of merit rather than his personal preference rather than his personal preference humne abhi ye baat ki thi the researcher tries to be as objective as possible for him okay every one of us suffers from confirmation bias or availability heuristics so the researcher or the investigator try to avoid this confirmation bias that is why we have written he gather in, gathers information on the basis of merit rather than one's personal preferences okay next the method and techniques the methods and techniques the method and techniques employed the method and techniques employed in the study of behavior the methods and techniques employed in the study of behavior are quite scientific there is emphasis there is emphasis on accuracy by being by being as precise and as careful by being as precise and as careful as possible in the gathering of data as possible in the gathering of data psychology stresses upon systematic study psychology stresses upon systematic study rather than rather than the casual study rather than the casual study of the processes and the problem of the processes and the problem psychologist psychologist start with the hypothesis psychologist start with the hypothesis and determine the relationship between the variables and determine the relationship between the variables determine the relationship between the variables next point the result the results of the study of behavior the results of the study of the behavior usually stands for verification the results of the study of behavior usually stand for their verifications 
for their verifications in similar other conditions in similar other conditions in similar other conditions the results of the study of behavior usually stand for their verification in similar other conditions by other experimenters and observers by other experimenters and observers psychology just don't write psychology use this symbol psychology subjects itself psychology subjects itself to the goal of skepticism psychology subject itself to the goal of skepticism that is accepting the findings accepting the findings as true only accepting the findings as true only after they have been verified again and again accepting the findings as true only after they have been verified again and again and in and all incons inconsistencies have been resolved and all inconsistencies have been resolved next point the appropriate description the appropriate description and qualification is possible in and quantification sorry not qualification quantification the appropriate description and quantification is possible in psychology is possible in psychology and this allow us to make trustworthy predictions and this allows us to make trustworthy predictions about the organism in the light of behavior about the organism predictions about the organism in the light of behavior being studied next point psychology possesses well organized theory psychology possesses well organized theory ye sara information maine aapko bhi explain kiya tha which is supported by relevant laws and principles which is supported by relevant laws and principles many of the next point many of the established facts many of the established facts principles many of the established facts principles and the laws of the behavior and the laws of the behavior in the study of psychology in the study of psychology enjoy universal applicability enjoys universal applicability ab physics chemistry maths ke jo laws hain jo principles hain they enjoy universal applica applicability but psychology is more concerned about individual differences psychology studies individual in his cult cultural context okay there is a, a school in psycho psychology and the advocate or the champion of that school are called humanist so they propound that humans have free will we have free wills we could design our life we could design our actions so according to them psychology should give more preference to individuality at the same time there is another perspective a core school here a group of साइंटिस्ट है ग्रुप ऑफ रिसर्चर है साइकोलॉजी में 
this is second uh, they are called behaviorist according to behaviorist psychology should not focus on individual differences instead psychology ko sirf jo hai stimulus or relation stimulus or response ke relationships ko study karna chahiye aur ek data maintain karna chahiye aur us data ke basis pe kisi ke bare mein kisi ka behavior jo hai wo predict karna chahiye so this school was called as the second force of psych, second force in psychology kyunki ye bahut ek gazab ka concept tha that there is no mind according to behaviorist mind hai nahi hai everything is muscle there is stimulus there is response there is no intermediation by mind so us time pe jab ye thought aaya tha to that was revolutionary ye hum course mein bahut detail mein study karenge so psychology give more preference to individual differences isi wajah se psychology ke jo law hain wo universal applicability follow नहीं करते दो साइकोलॉजी इज साइंस बट द लॉज फॉर्मुलेटेड इन द साइकोलॉजी मैक्सिमम एप्लीकेबिलिटी तो फॉलो करते हैं है ना व्हाट इज ट्रू अबाउट योर बिहेवियर कुड नॉट होल्ड ट्रू फॉर आर यू देर आर कल्चरल डिफरेंसेस देर आर लाइक मेनी डिफरेंसेस ये हम सिलेबस में अच्छे से इसको स्टडी कर जस्ट इस लाइन का जो मतलब है आपके लिए दैट मैनी ऑफ द एस्टेब्लिश फैक्ट प्रिंसिपल एंड द लॉज ऑफ द बिहेवियर इन द स्टडी ऑफ साइकोलॉजी इंजॉय यूनिवर्सल एप्लीकेबिलिटी इन प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ एंड इन अदर बॉडीज ऑफ नॉलेज सो एम आई क्लियर नाउ कंफ्यूजन साइकोलॉजी इज अ साइंस psychology is a science because it is committed to goal of objectivity because it is committed to the goal of objectivity accuracy and skepticism these are the values i talked about it is committed to the goal of objectivity accuracy and skepticism moreover it adopts the methods and value of science it adopts the methods and values of science in order to understand all aspect of behavior moreover it adopts the methods and values of science in order to understand all aspects of behavior is that clear so we discussed the scientific status of psychology there will be a question for about like 15 to 20 marks if you write this answer you will get good marks aur agar question thoda daaye baaye bhi aayega now you have all the relevant information you know what is scientific what are scientific methods how psychology conduct research or how investigator conduct research in psychology so you could write easy if you read this answer everything will be clear to you okay so isi tarike se har agar aap dekhenge paper 1 ka jo syllabus hai first usme jo hamara heading hai that is scientific status of psychology or what is psychology so बाकी जो हमारा फर्स्ट यूनिट है उसमें है इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी कैरेक्टर ऑफ साइकोलॉजी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी ट्रेंड इन साइकोलॉजी व्हाट इज द करंट अप्रोच ऑफ साइकोलॉजी सो हर एक हेडिंग के लिए वी विल राइट आंसर्स जैसे हमने ये लिखा ऐसे हम सब हेडिंग्स के लिए 15 टू 20 मार्क्स के लिए हम लोग आंसर लिखे हैं तो पूरा जो हमारा सिलेबस है वो क्वेश्चन आंसर की फॉर्म में होगा Every heading or sub heading of the syllabus will be covered. Okay. So students, before we end this session, let's have a look at the brief history of psychology. How this subject evolved from philosophy, and how the development in other physical sciences aided the evolution or the origin of psychology.
so the philosophers of the 19th century had many questions about mind and body like kya mind or body different entity hai is their body only mind ka existence hi nahi hai do we have free will are humans capable of designing their actions kya hamare paas free will hai what is behavior so these kind of question were popular among the philosophers of the 19th century so some of them tried to answer this question on the basis of rationality but like like rand descartes he was a philosopher rand descartes ne kaha ki mind or body are two distinct identities two distinct entity and they interact with each other through pineal gland that exists somewhere in your brain so some other philosophers also came forward with their explanation but the popular belief was it is not sufficient to answer this question to answer the question about behavior free will mind and body just to answer this question relying on rationality is not enough there must be some empirical method there must be some scientific method to study mind and body to study behavior at the same time ab 1860s ke around few of the scientist or you can say biologist ya physiologist they had shown 1860s 1860s tak it was demonstrated how electrical signals are conducted by nerves within a human body it was shown by that time also it was shown it was explained that how receptors in the eyes and ear interpret interpret sensation from external world so the development in other physical sciences the development in physiology when combined with when combined with the conviction among philosophers when these two so ab ek taraf kya tha philosophers were already thinking of an idea some they were looking for some scientific way so that they could read mind and body they could study behavior in a scientific way at the same time there are development in other sciences when these two ideas when these two convictions converged the possibility of a discipline the possibility of psychology became possible and in 1879 william wundt established the first lab in germany in university of leipzig to study behavior to conduct experiments so this was a brief history of psychology but psychology was never the same as you see it today psychology comes from two greek word psyche plus logos psyche means soul and logos means discourse area of study so in this way psychology becomes study of soul but soul could not be observed and measured and as you see the proponent of this discipline wanted to make psychology a scientific subject so if the subject matter of the of psychology could not be observed and measured how psychology would claim to be a scientific discipline then the subject matter of psychology was changed 
it was changed from soul to consciousness later it was changed to mind but the same problem existed with consciousness and mind also at that time it was not possible to study mind directly so today so regarding the subject matter of psychology regarding the subject matter of psychology there were debates and the result of these debates were different schools different perspectives in psychology like structuralist behaviorist psychoanalyst humanist biologist cognitivist gestaltist so these are different perspectives in psychology they contended with each other with their methods with their techniques they tried to enforce their idea that psycho like be like structuralist said psychology should study the constituent of consciousness jo ye aapki awareness hai na iske jo constituents hai psychology ko wo focus karna chahiye kaise karna chahiye there should be trained individuals who will be exposed to different stimuli and then they will be asked कि जब आपके सामने ये स्टिमुलस था वट डिड यू फील हाउ डिड यू अप्रोच दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट डेटा शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड देन केम द फंक्शनलिस्ट दे सेड इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टडिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस साइकोलॉजी शुड स्टडी हाउ दिस कॉन्शियसनेस हेल्प इंडिविजुअल्स टू अडेप्ट इन देयर एनवायरमेंट what is the utility of this consciousness then came the behaviorist they said psychology should study only those aspect or only those things which are observable and measurable psychology should only focus behavior of the humans because and only overt behavior okay because it could be measured and observed but the another school psychoanalyst the vietnamese psychiatrist sigmund freud said there are some unconscious forces there is some hidden part within every human that have the tendency to influence the behavior of that individual so psychology should study those unconscious forces okay so they had their methods ab sabne apna subject matter ko leke there was ongoing debate aur is debate ka positive impact kya tha jo psychology aaj hum padhte hain this evolved through this prolonged debate okay so ye sare jo perspectives hain once we develop mastery over these psychology is no difficult for us humne in concepts ke upar mastery develop karne hai aur ek bar agar aapne ye kar liya this you will enjoy this subject this is the heart and core of psychology heart and soul of psychology so stay motivated hold your self esteem high don't feel sad and depressed just smile smile is going to help you and you are going to enjoy this extensive process called ups okay wish you all the best let's meet in our next class till then stay healthy and smile